Rules of the road. This is the name given for the international regulations for preventions of collisions at sea laid down by the International Maritime Organization, IMO. Basically, it's the maritime version of the highway code. So the report rules apply to all vessels upon the seas and all connected um, areas. So the question is, who gives way to who? So obviously in this position in the photo here, something's gone badly wrong and somebody hasn't complied with the, uh, the rules of the road and we'll talk about this later. So really importantly, no vessel has right away over another vessel. Okay, I'm going to say that again because a lot of people misunderstand this. No vessel has right of way over another vessel. So you hear people at the sailing club and racing saying, I have right of way. Under the IRPCS, no vessel has right of way over another vessel. If we're on the same waters with people racing and people cruising, the IRPCS, the rules of the road, has priority over racing rules. I'll say it for the fourth time. No vessel has right of way over another vessel. All vessels must avoid a collision. So, we have a giveaway vessel and a stand on vessel. So, we look at the rules and we see who is the giveaway vessel, who is the stand, stand on vessel. So, a giveaway vessel must take avoiding action early and in ample time. A stand on vessel should maintain their course and speed. However, if the giveaway vessel does not alter course, the stand on vessel must take avoiding action. So my analogy to this, that if you're driving down a main road, you're the stand on vessel. If a car pulls out of a side road, you're still the stand on vessel. But you don't drive straight into the car that's pulled out. You do everything in your power to avoid an accident. And this is the same on the sea. If you're the stand on vessel and it looks like the giveaway vessel hasn't seen you and they're not giving away, you must take avoiding action. So nobody has right of way. There's a giveaway vessel and a stand on vessel. Rule one. Power driven vessels. There's a hierarchy of vessels. So we have power driven vessels sailing vessels sailing vessels are interesting because once you put the engine on and you engage in gear you become a power driven vessel so we have power driven vessels and they give way to sailing vessels they give way to fishing vessels these are vessels that are fishing they also give way to vessels that are constrained by their draft which means that they draw water and they're in a confined space and they can't maneuver within that confined space. We also give way to vessels that are restricted in their ability to manoeuvre. These are vessels that due to the nature of the task they're undertaking, they can't manoeuvre. So in the diagram here, we've got a vessel putting navigation buoys in. It could be a minesweeper, it could be a survey vessel, it could be a dredging vessel. But in later videos, we'll explain this and we explain the lights and shapes that a vessel restricts in the ability to manoeuvre will display and everybody gives way to a vessel not under command. That's a vessel, due to circumstances beyond their control, they can't manoeuvre within the rules. So this is the hierarchy ladder of who gives way to who. So a power driven vessel gives way to all of these vessels. So we're going to talk about power driven vessels coming straight at each other, head on, crossing each other and overtaking. So it may be easier to just talk a little bit about our navigation lights. So basic navigation lights we'll have is on the port or left hand side. We have a red light on our starboard or right hand side. We have a green light and these lights go from the front of the boat to 22 and a half degrees past the middle of the boat or the beam. And that happens on both sides on the back or the stern of the boat we have a white light. And I'm explaining this because this is easy, um, an easier way of working out who gives way to who in a minute. So on the left hand side, we have a red light. On the right hand side, we have a green light. At the back of the boat, we have a white light. So we've got two boats, power head on. Although A is a sailing boat, she has the sails down, 
and she's motoring. So two power driven vessels head on. So if you head on, both turn to starboard. Okay, the easy way to remember this is that when we're going up and down a channel, we drive as if we're in America. We all drive on the right hand side of the road or the channel. So if we see another vessel, we drive like we're driving in America, we turn to starboard and we drive on the right. So both vessels have to alter course. Both vessels have to alter course um, to starboard. So here we go. See, we see the boat, we turn to starboard, we drive on the right down the channel. And here we see it again, both head on, both turn to starboard, go on the right hand side of the channel. As we go on the right hand side of the channel, we will see the red of the other vessel. And that's why I explain the lights. So it's a traffic light system. If we see red, we give way. If we see white, we're overtaking. If we see green, we stand on. And I'll come to this as we carry on in this presentation. Power boats crossing each other. So on the right hand side, we've got two vessels displaying the navigation lights. The bottom one, you can see the top one's red light, so they give way. The top vessel there, you can see the bottom vessel's green light, so they stand on. So when you're out in your motorboat, and you best thing to do is imagine that you've got your navigation lights on, okay even if it's daylight imagine what light they would show if you can see red you give way if you see green you stand on so on the top one here we can see green we stand on be prepared on the bottom one here we can see red we give way so even the big boys make mistakes so in these diagrams something's gone badly wrong and these ships have hit each other so what I want you to do now is to look at each of these diagrams in your mind imagine red lights and green lights and then work out who should have given way who's the stand on who's the give way I'll give you a few moments and we'll give you the answers you may need to pause the video here write it down before we carry on and here we go, here's the answers. I hope you got it right. If you can see red, you give way. If you see green, you stand on. Overtaking, overtaking vessels. So if an overtaking vessel, if you imagine it's dark, you'll see the white light at the back. Slight anomaly here, all vessels overtaking give way. I'll say that again. All vessels overtaking give way. If you're a sailing vessel, overtaking a power vessel, you still give way. We know we're overtaking because we're in the white sector of the lights at the back of the boat. And the boat we're coming to is getting closer. So here we have the give way vessel here at the bottom of the screen. You can see the white light of the stand on vessel. So... If we see the white light, we're the overtaking boat. And we, and we keep clear until we're past and clear. We can't go in front of the boat and then slow down and get in their way. We have to give way, keep clear until we're past and clear. These rules are specifically for sailing vessels. So sailing vessels give way to fishing vessels, vessels constrained by the draft, Vessels constrain the ability to manoeuvre, and vessels not under command. So we're going to look at vessels on the same tack, vessels on different tacks, and vessels overtaking, so sailing vessels. So sailing vessels on the same tack. The tack is the side the wind is coming from. So all of these sailing boats here are on the port tack because the wind is coming from the left hand side. So, if we're all sailing on the same tack, the one to windward or further upwind gives way. So if you're further upwind, you give way to the vessel further downwind. 
And the idea is if you're further upwind, you have more maneuverability. So if you remember in the days of square riggers, who didn't find it difficult to sail, further upwind, they've got much better maneuverability than a vessel further downwind. So both boats on the same tack, the windward vessel gives way. So that's the sailing vessels on the same tack. So here we go. The windward vessel, further closest to the wind, gives way. So we've got the give way vessel and the stand on vessel. Sailing vessels on different tacks. This diagram shows which tack vessels are on. On the left hand side of the diagram, the wind is coming from the right hand side of the vessels or the starboard side, so they're all on starboard tack. On the other side of the diagram, on the right hand side of the diagram, the wind is coming from the left hand side of the boats or the port side of the boats, so they're all on port tack. So sailing boats on different tacks. Port tack gives way to starboard tack. So the left hand boat there, the wind's coming from the port hand side, they're on port tack. The vessel on the right hand side of the diagram, the wind is coming from the right, they're on starboard tack. So port tack gives way to starboard. Two vessels here, B is on port because the wind is coming from the port side, A is on starboard because the wind is coming from the starboard side. So B gives way to A, port gives way to starboard. So B can either go around the back of A or they can tack. It's their choice, but they must keep out the way of A. If it's a windy day and it's hard to bear away or come away from the wind around the back, it may be safer for B to turn and tack in the same direction as A, then they won't hit them. So in this diagram, the vessel is on port tack because the wind is coming from the left hand side. The vessel in the distance is on starboard tack. So the vessel we're on is the give way vessel. The vessel we can see is the stand on vessel. Uncertain which tack a vessel is on. Is the boat going dead downwind? Which tack is it on? So a tack the vessel is on is the opposite side to where the mainsail is. So the diagram on the left is on starboard tack. Because the mainsail is over to the port side, the wind's coming from the starboard side. This gets a little bit more difficult with the diagram to the right because it doesn't have a mainsail up, but this is pretty unusual. So if you're on port tack and the boat's coming down, and we can't see whether they're on port and starboard tack because their mainsail is hidden by the spinnaker. We assume they're on starboard tack. So <clears throat> the left hand vessel gives way, the right hand vessel stand on. So yachts and starboard tack are stand on, the other boats will be to windward. So we're sailing along where the stand on vessel, the one coming straight towards us, is windward and the one just to the right is windward and we're all on the same tack, we're on starboard tack. On this one here, we're on starboard. The other vessel we assume is on starboard, but their windward boat, they keep clear. So we're the stand on vessel, the windward boat is the give way vessel. But we have to make sure that they can see us. They should be keeping a proper lookout, but if they can't we might need to shout or be prepared to get out of the way. So here we have vessel A, vessel B. B is on port tack, A is on starboard tack, so B gives way to A. To understand what you said, we're gonna ask a few questions. So we're gonna paste a scenario on the screen. May have to pause to work out what you think the answer is. Carry on and we'll give you the answers. So here's the first one, are you ready? Which boat gives way and what should they do? So this is port and starboard. A is on port tack, B is on starboard tack. So should keep out the way and go behind B.
A is sailing, B is under power. Power gives way to sail, so B gives way and goes behind A. This is a port and starboard tack. A is on port. Sorry, A is on port tack. B is on starboard tack. A gives way to B. A is windward boat. So A gives way, goes behind B. Either goes behind, as we show in the diagram, carries on the same tall course or tacks away. Both are powered vessels, both give way, both turn to starboard. So A is the stand on vessel, B is the give way vessel. So B goes round. So B can see A's red light. So if you can see red, you're the give way vessel. A can see B's green light, so A is a stand on vessel. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, be sure to look at all the other tutorial videos we have for ENS and Day Skipper and go to our YouTube channel. And please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Paul, City Sailing. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Cheers. Bye.